Hello, good evening, and welcome to Jackpot with the Days. And my name is Bimbo. Thank you so much for always listening to all the opportunities that we bring your way. Thank you for always watching our videos. And for those of you who have subscribed to our channel such that we've been able to eat 300 subscribers and, you know, stick counting, we thank you so, so much. We really appreciate you. And uh, so to this evening, I just want to quickly talk about an important information, which is one of the frequently asked questions from our subscribers. A host of them want to go to European universities, wants to go to different universities all over the world. So they don't, they keep asking questions like, oh, uh, please, can you give me the list of universities in Portugal, list of universities in Austria, list of universities in Sweden, in UK, in US, in Canada that I can apply to. So I I, I took my time to, um, you know, I want to do a video about it today because I know it's going to be very, very important for them. Now, there are a lot of universities out there that, uh, uh, I mean, that parade themselves as a registered university. But one thing that I need to, in my experience about applying to universities in my in my days, about five years ago, when I was looking for admission to also travel, one of the things that I stumbled upon, which is very essential, is uh, uh, a website called or a, a body called World Universities Ranking. This website shows you the list of universities in terms of their ranking and if they are essentially relevant so that you will not go and spend a two-year course for a master's degree, a three or four years course for a PhD in a university that is not ranked, that is not rated such that after you get your certificate from that university, by the time you take it to the labor market, they tell you, oh, this university is not, is not ranked, it's not recognized. What kind of uh, 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 certificate is this? What kind of, uh, uh, um, I mean, university did you go to? And all of those kind of issues that may surround you going abroad to study in a university that's, that is not ranked. So one of the things I always advise people, which I thought it's very important this evening, is to discuss it openly to everybody to have an idea of how to search for universities in different countries of their interests and uh, uh, universities that are in terms of their rankings, among other essential information. So that website, that regulatory body is called World Universities Ranking. So if you go online and you search for World Universities Ranking, you will be able to stumble on their website. So for every year, they always have, they always update their ranking in terms of uh, universities ranking all over the world. So, which means they have 2023 ranking, 2024 ranking, 2022, 2021, among others. And they have some criteria in which they usually use to rank this university as the first university in the world, ETC. So, but we are not going into the factors or the criteria for which they rank this university. We are only look for universities that are ranked in each country, which will guide our subscribers to be able to know which university they need to apply to. So for instance, if the minute you search what uni let's for instance, let's open Google and let's search what, what university ranking. So when you search World Universities Ranking, these are the options that it will give you, but this is where we are going to because this is uh, World University Ranking 2024. We are in 2024, so I'm going to go for 2024. We have 2023 uh, ETC, so but I'm not interested in 2023 or the or, or, or and the likes. I'm only interested in 2024 because it's the up up to date information that you you should work with all the time when you want to know the universities that you want to apply to in any country that you want to go to. So let's open World Universities Ranking 2024. Now, the minute you open it, you see the list of all the first universities uh, based on 2024 ranking, University of Oxford, Stanford Universities, MIT, Harvard University, University of Cambridge, Princeton University. So these are ranked according to, uh, these are in comparison of different countries and schools all over the world. But in order to make your life very easy, let's assume 
you know the country in which you are interested in relocating or jackpying to. Let me use that word. If you are, if you know the country that you that you are interested in, so let's say you are interested in, and you don't know the name of the school. Let's say you are interested in going to, let's say Portugal as an example. All you just have to do is to either come here and type Portugal, or you can scroll down and look for the word Portugal among the list. So once I type Portugal in here. It will, it will immediately populate the list of universities that are ranked by World Universities Ranking in Portugal. It will immediately show them to me based on their ranking. So, for instance, University of Coimbra is the first between 400 to 500. I'm not interested in their ranking. I just want to know if they are ranked and if it is a recognized university. That is the most important thing here. And, of course, the minute you click on each of those schools, it will immediately take you to uh, uh, the school website, for instance, once I open it in a different tab, you can easily get into the school website or open another tab entirely where you it will lead you to uh, the school uh, directories, the school website, and you can you know check for more information based on their ranking from the year that they've started ranking all universities so just for you to be able to have, to have an idea of uh, the importance and the ranking of this university in terms of research, in terms of publications. These are some of the factors they usually use to rank them anyway. But like I said, I'm not going into factors that they usually use to rank this university. So for instance, the minute you punch in uh, Portugal, it will show you University of Coimbra, University of Lisbon, University of Porto, University of uh, Nova University of Lisbon, University of Aveiro, University of Beira Interior, ICT, University of Mio, University of Agave. So it will show you the list of each of the universities and their ranking. And so, of course, if you are not interested in any other thing, if you, are, if you want to go further into clicking on the website, just open the universities in another uh, page or in another tab. And of course, scroll through some of the factors in which they have used to rank the universities. And if you are interested in applying to the university, there, will, there is a link in the session there that you can use to go straight into the university website so that you can look for any um, um, courses that you want to apply to, any programs you want to apply to, PhD, MSc, and the like. So, so let's assume, uh, oh, okay, I'm not even interested in Portugal. Okay, yes, I even know the name of the universities. So let's say, for instance, I know the name of, uh, I have heard of Jacob Universities in Germany. Is Jacob University in Germany? You're not sure of whether the, the, the university is in Germany or whether the university is in Sweden or so, but you know the name, you've heard of the name somewhere. All you just have to do is come here and say, Jacob Universities, search. Okay, nothing is found. So, and uh, so let's assume, Okay, based on the name you heard is, uh, let's say um, you've heard of, um, uh, um, um, uh, which name, which, so, so let's let's assume you've heard of a uh, university, uh, uh, Sheffield, let's say Sheffield, oh, I have heard of uh, Sheffield University, but I'm not sure where that university is. So uh, you come here, you search for the word, uh, I think I'm not spelling it correctly. There is, uh, I'm not sure I'm spelling it correctly because I know there is, a, oh, okay, maybe it's Sheffield Alam or something like that because I know there's a university in UK that is called Sheffield Alam. So maybe, uh, yes, University of Sheffield. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to type University of Sheffield. So, um, so uh, once you type Sheffield, once you type the option, once you start typing the option, it starts bringing out the names that look similar to what you are typing. So the minute I type Sheffield, so it brought out University of Sheffield, Sheffield Alam Universities, and this is in UK, in UK. So, and then uh, uh, University, uh, let's say you want to find another in the University of Jacob. Uh, okay, so there is nothing like that. So the closest to JA, basically means I type University of JA, the closest to it is University of Jen in Spain. But the idea is this, once let's assume you know a name of a university, but you don't know which country it, the, the, the university is in, but you know a name. So what you just have to do is to come here and type the name. It will bring out the closest or any name similar to what you have in your head. But the best option is to search uh, universities by country. As long as you know the country you're interested in. So let's say Finland. 
you want to go to Finland, you search here. You want to go to Finland, you search. You, once you put your Finland here, it will bring all the universities that are in Finland, that are rated in Finland. University of Helsinki, Alto Universities, University of Oulu, Tampere University, University of Thorku, you know, a bunch of them. It will list them out for you. And then let's say you are interested in Sweden. Same procedure apply. Just type Sweden. Go in. Once you go in, you scroll down to the list of rated universities in Sweden. You will see them there. So, and that's the same thing. You, as long as you know the country in which you go to, but you don't know the name of the school that you can apply to there, especially during this season of admission, all you have to do is to open World Universities Ranking on your Google, on your phone. It's, it's Google friendly, so it's, it's a smartphone friendly. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your laptop, on your tab, any devices whatsoever. Just search on Google World Universities Ranking. It will, it will show to you the uh, the year that you are in. The, it depends on if you want to check 2023, 2022, 2021, 2024. But, you know, what are you doing with uh, all the years? So you go for the earlier, uh, the, the year that you are in, which is 2024. Then you'll be able to search by country. Or if you know the name of the university, you'll be able to search by the name of the university. So I believe this will really, really help us because we get a lot of questions. Oh, please, I don't know which universities to apply to in Portugal. I don't know which university to apply to in um, in Sweden, in Finland, in Austria. I don't know which university are there to apply to once you come to this place. And it will even give you a, a, a confidence that this university that you are going to to study master's, uh, BSc degree, PhD is a well-ranked university so that at the end of your courses or program you will not have any issues in the labor market with the certificates that you're going to get out of that place and yes that is that about the uh, um, uh, opportunities that we brought your way again this evening i'm sure it will be very very relevant more especially for those considering uh, student visa it will really really help your uh, searching of university to apply to for programs uh, depending on the, on the on the country of your choosing. Thank you so, so much once again for watching. And I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we bring these opportunities your way, you will be the first to get notification. Follow us on all our social media so that we're, when we drop tips and informations like this, you will be the first to receive them. Thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate you all. Bye-bye.